Hey what's up everyone welcome to the channel my name is Divid and this is 10 minute tutorials. On this channel I create easy to digest and short tutorials on topics such as e-commerce, entrepreneurship, marketing and just tech in general. Now in today's video I'll be focusing on the topic of Facebook ads. I'll be giving you a complete understanding of what Facebook ads are and by the end of this tutorial you'll know things like what Facebook business manager is and how you can set it up like this, how you can go ahead and create your ad account and connect it to your business manager account how you can go ahead and actually create campaigns and ads, we'll do this together, and how you can set up conversion tracking. So if this interests you, then stick around, subscribe, and let's get into today's video. Now to kick this tutorial off, the first thing we need to do is to go to business.facebook.com so that we're on our meta business suite or formerly known as Facebook Business Manager. Now we need to create an account here because your Facebook Business Manager basically is like your house that contains all of your assets, like your Facebook ad accounts, your pages, your creatives. So it's important that we create this. Now, creating a business account is very straightforward. Just head on over to business.facebook.com and create your new account. Once you do that, I'll see you in the main dashboard. So once you've successfully created your Facebook Business Manager account, you should be directed to a page that looks like this. It might change a bit depending on when you watch the tutorial, just because Facebook updates their interface sometimes. But don't be too concerned about that. Most of the settings are generally the same. Now in our dashboard, the first thing we're going to do is create a Facebook page or connect a Facebook page if we already have one so that Facebook knows exactly what business we're advertising. To create our page, we're going to go to our bottom left over here to where it says settings. Go ahead and click that. Once you do that in your account settings right here, select this pages option. And then over here on the right where it says add, you can go ahead and add an existing page, request access to a page or create a new Facebook page. So if you press the create a new Facebook page option, you can go through the steps over here. It's very straightforward. Once you have it completed, you should have a page linked as you see mine over here. So once we have our page created, the very next step we need to do is create an ad account so that we can actually run the ads on it. To do that, we go over here once again and press this add accounts option. Now, similar to our pages, scroll to the right where it says add. And then over here, you can go ahead and create a new ad account claim an existing ad account or request to share access. So over here, because I already have an ad account, it's not allowing me to do so. But once you go ahead and create it, you should have your ad account over here linked. So once we have our pages and ad account done, the next fundamental step we need to complete is set up our billing information. So go over here to the bottom to where it says billing and payments. And then over here, just go ahead and make sure you have a payment method set up so that your ads can be charged to a legitimate account. So over here, just press the add payment method, put in your information, very self-explanatory stuff. So once we've set up all of our fundamental settings, the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is set up our meta pixel and create conversion tracking. So what exactly do I mean by meta pixel? Well, basically for Facebook to communicate with your website to figure out what users are doing on your website, it needs to give you a code which you put onto your website. And that's how these two platforms talk. And that's how you can figure out how your ads are performing in terms of what actions people are doing and you can optimize them accordingly. So we're gonna go back to our dashboard over here. So just click on the meta icon. So once we're back in our dashboard, we're gonna to go to our all tools section in the left over here and then look for the setting which says events manager. Okay, so go ahead and select that. Now, once you do that, you will be directed to this page over here where you can go ahead and connect things called data sources. So data sources is similar to a pixel. And basically, once you connect a data source, you can then create conversion tracking on that data source. So to connect a data source, we just press this connect data option right here. Choose the source you want to connect. In my case, it's going to be a website. Once you have that selected, press the next option over here and then go ahead and give your data source a name. So I'm going to go ahead and call mine Facebook ads tutorial. Once you have a name in place, press the create button. So once we have that completed over here, Facebook is asking us, how do we want to connect our website? Now there's three different options. There's via API, via partner integration, or you can set it up manually. Now what I recommend is to set it up manually simply because the partner integration, which may seem convenient, can sometimes break when these platforms like WordPress update themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this option right here and then press the next button. And then once that's done over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and select connect manually once again. Over here, Facebook is giving us two options. I'm going to go ahead and select Metapixel, even though it recommends conversion API. And that's simply because this is the fastest and easiest way to do it. So let's go ahead and select that. Press next over here. 
And right here, we see that Meta is giving us our instructions for installation. I'll just go ahead and press C instructions, close this pop up. And this is the piece of code. This is basically our Meta pixel that we need to put onto our website. So I'm going to go ahead and actually copy this and then go back to my WordPress dashboard. So this is the back end of my WordPress website. I'm using a plugin called WP Code, which is a free plugin that basically allows you to put custom code onto your website with no coding needed. And right here, we can see that I've pasted in my pixel code and then press the save changes. So this is just one way that you can do it. There's multiple different ways, but for this tutorial, this is what I'm going to focus on. Now, once you have your meta pixel code good to go, you can go back to your events manager tab over here and we can press the continue option. Now, the next step over here is to go ahead and turn on automatic advanced matching. This is basically giving Facebook more information about your customers so it can further optimize your ads. So I'll keep it as is. And then once you've turned that on, you can go ahead and press the continue option once again. And then finally over here, we're directed to a page which says add event code. Now we can tell Meta or Facebook exactly what event we want to track. So anything somebody does like a button click or for example, purchases a product, downloads an ebook, all of these are called events and you can track each of these events specifically by setting them up on Facebook. And you can do this with no code by using Facebook's event setup tool. So if you go ahead and click this option right here, you can just put in your URL and press open website and Facebook will show you all of the different events we can go ahead and set up after it's scraped your website. So let's go ahead and do this together very quickly. Now, once we do that, we'll be directed over here. So we can see this is my website. This is a dummy website, so it's empty. But more importantly, on the left over here, we have the meta event setup tool. And this tool basically allows us to track button clicks, URLs, so on and so forth. So if I click track new button, we can see that Meta is giving me all of these different options I can go ahead and track based on it scraping my website. Similarly, I can do that with a URL. I can track a URL page load by saying that this particular event that I want to track is a lead. And anytime somebody comes on this website, I want this to be considered as a lead. So I'm just going to go ahead and give this no value and press the confirm option. Once we do that over here, we can see our event is set up and now we're good to go. So this is just one way you can use conversion tracking. It's a very powerful functionality and there are plenty of in-depth tutorials on this. So once we have this set up, we can go back to our events manager tab. So let's go ahead and do that. So once we're back in our events manager tab, we can go ahead and press the X option over here and we can go back to events manager right here. And the final thing I want to talk about is to see all of your pixels. You can press the data sources option here. So these are all of my test pixels I've created. And over here, you can go ahead and test to see if everything is working. So once you actually have your pixels, you will see all the events over here firing. And then finally, over here in your settings, you have the different things that you can go ahead and change. One thing I want to point out in terms of settings, is if you scroll down right here to where it says event setup, sometimes the event setup tool is actually turned off. So if you can't find it, just come to your settings, make sure it's turned on, press this button. And that's how you can set it up like I just did a second ago. Now, once we have our conversion tracking set up, we just have to finally link it to our ad account so we can tell Facebook that, hey, this conversion tracking should be associated with our ad account we just created. And you can do that by going to this sharing option over here in settings and press share with an ad account. And then over here, we can see that Facebook is directing us to this page where we can go ahead and assign our assets. So go ahead and click that. And then I can go ahead and say that my particular ad account I created I want it to be assigned to this particular pixel. So I can just go ahead and press the add option over here. So once we do that, we can see over here, one ad account has been added to the data set Facebook ads tutorial and we've linked it. We're good to go. Now that we have everything covered in terms of all of our basics, now we can go over to our ad manager. So let's go back to our home page over here by pressing the meta logo. And then over here where it says all tools, you can go ahead and select that. And then go ahead and choose ads manager. Now, once we do that, we'll be directed to this page, which is the main ads manager dashboard. We can see this is a pretty comprehensive tool. We have all of our different campaigns, ad sets and ads we can view over here. We have the different metrics we can track. We can go ahead and actually tweak these metrics by selecting this columns option. And let's say, for example, I'm interested in engagement metrics. I can look at that. I can change the dates that I can see my data for. I can even go ahead and actually export all of the data. I can break it down based on certain demographics, like for example, age, placement, so on and so forth. Now, before we create our campaign, I want to very quickly talk about the campaign structure. 
So when it comes to Facebook ads, the first thing that you need to understand is that you need to create a campaign. Within that campaign, you create ad sets. Within those ad sets, you create ads. These ad sets basically allow you to divide your products into different categories. For example, if you're selling watches, one ad set could be men's watches, another ad set could be women's watches, third ad set could be children's watches. So that's how you can divide campaigns into subgroups. So let's go ahead and create our first campaign together by pressing this create option right here. Now, once you do that, you'll be directed to this pop-up over here, which first gives you a buying type. Just go ahead and select auction here. It's the most popular one. And then over here, you can go ahead and select your campaign objective. Now, depending on the objective you select, the steps might be a little bit different, but overall, it's pretty similar. For this example, I'm just going to go ahead and select traffic. And then once you have an objective in place, go ahead and press continue. Now, over here, Facebook is telling us we have two options to create our campaign. We're going to go ahead and select the manual traffic campaign. So let's go ahead and select that and press continue. Now, once we do that, we can see over here that our campaign is created. We have our new campaign, then we have our ad set and our ads, and we're going to go ahead and put up our settings right now. So the very first thing you need to do is give your campaign a name. Once you have it named, you can go ahead and skip this special ad category. This is for political ads, things like that. So skip that. For campaign details, it's the stuff that we set a second ago, so that's all fine. You can go ahead and actually ignore these settings. They're not very important. And then press the next option. Now over here, this is where a bulk of your time is going to be spent because over here, we're going to go ahead and set up our targeting and our ad set basic requirements. So the first thing you're going to go ahead and do here is give your ad set a name. Once you have the name in place, you can go ahead and give your conversion location. So here we're converting on our website. And over here, you have your performance goal. So there's multiple different goals you can optimize for. For example, landing page views, reach, conversations, impressions. The one that I typically do is this link clicks option. Once you have your performance goal in place, you can go ahead and set up a cost per result goal. Here you're basically telling Facebook how much each conversion should cost maximum. So let's just say, for example, I set this up at five Canadian dollars per conversion. You can set it up to whatever you want and Facebook will basically try to optimize it for that amount. Once we have that set up, we can come over to the setting which says dynamic creative and press the on option and press continue. And basically over here, what we're telling Facebook is that, hey, you can take a lot of the assets I give you, the headlines I give you, the descriptions I give you, mix and match them to figure out what works best. So I recommend turning that on. Now, once we have that done over here, we can go ahead and set up our budget and schedule. You can put a daily budget or lifetime. I'll just keep it as is and keep the start dates as is also. Once you have all of your budget set up, you can go ahead and skip these steps. They're not important. We can now move over to our next step, which is our audience control. This is probably the most important part when it comes to your campaign creation process, because over here you set up exactly who gets your ads. So the first thing over here is you can go ahead and set up your location. I have Canada. If you want to change that, you press this option here. And you can go ahead and include locations if you want. For example, over here, I can put in, let's say, Jakarta as an option. You can even exclude places. So that's how you can go ahead and add and remove places. So if we scroll over here to where it says Advantage plus Audience, if you go ahead and press this option here. Now over here, you can go ahead and target people based on demographics, interests, behaviors. So you can really niche down over here. Let me show you an example of this. So let's say, for example, I'm interested in selling watches. I can go ahead and put that in over here. And Facebook is basically telling me these are all of the different groups of people that are interested in watches. So for example, I have these different watches right here. I can choose, let's say, if I scroll down to luxury watches is something that I could maybe niche down to. And then I can see over here that when I put it right here, my basic targeting and estimated daily results changes. So any change you make on the left will appear on the right in terms of what kind of clicks you can get. The cool thing over here that you can do is you can further define your audience. So let's say, for example, you want to say that, hey, I want to go after people that are interested in luxury watches. And for example, jewelry, you can go ahead and put that in over here. And now Facebook will show your ads to people that are interested in luxury watches and jewelry. So play around with this. It's a very powerful tool. There's all kinds of ways you can target. And then once you're happy with your targeting, you can go ahead and actually save it. So if I go over here, I can press the save audience option. And when you save a custom audience, it basically can be reused in the future. So once you have all of this set up, we can go to this next section, which says advantage plus placements. You can go ahead and choose this manual placements. 
and select exactly where your ads should be shown. So you can select, I want my ad to be shown on the Facebook feed. You can take out places, you can take out Instagram, audience network, however you want to do it, you can go ahead and select that right here. So once you have all of these settings in place, you can go ahead and press the next option right here. And once we do that, we're on our last step for our campaign creation, which is to create our ad. Now, once again, give your ad a name, connect your Facebook page and Instagram account if you have one. And then if you scroll down over here, you can tell Facebook what kind of ad you want to create. If you want to create a single image ad or a carousel ad, you can select that right here. You can upload your media. And if I scroll down over here, you can add your primary text, your headline, your description, and just basically fill out all of this basic information so that your ad looks populated. So give me a second while I fill this out. I'll just show you what it looks like when everything is put in. So here we are, everyone. I went ahead and put in the information. We can see this is a very basic ad. I put in my image. I added some headline copy. And we can see that Facebook is even recommending a bunch of different headlines for me. So that's great. And that's how you can use their algorithm and their AI to further develop and enhance your ad. We can see this is what my ad looks like on the right. I can preview it on different devices. So that's pretty cool. Once you have all of this stuff completed, we can scroll down over here. You can put in your call to action. In this case, I've put in learn more. And then over here, we can see that the conversion tracking I set up in the beginning of this tutorial is available over here. So once you have all of these settings in place, all you have to do is press publish and your campaign will be good to go. So that's how you create a Facebook ad from scratch. If you found this video interesting, then go ahead and click the like button and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more content like this, then check out this tutorial I have on Google Ads, where I go over it in a similar detail and show you how you can create Google Ad campaigns and set up conversion tracking on that platform. That being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.